Hello, and welcome back to Conversations with Sharon and Rosa. I'm Rosa. I'm still Sharon. And we have a guest today, and he will get to who he is in just a minute. <laughs> <laughs> who are you? <laughs> exactly. We want to know, too. Um, so before we get into our shout outs, uh, do you have any announcements? Yes. I have a couple of announcements. One is like, you know, first of all, we appreciate all the, you know, you know, the feedback we get from you guys, but someone had asked, how am I doing with my weight loss? And I want to give you an update. I actually gained a pound back, but I still have lost overall 22.3 pounds. And Rosa has been very, very, very supportive of that. What is my goal? Um, just to get in a better uh, health posture. So, but thank you for your support and that y'all helping me track myself. So I'm still with Weight Watchers and I'm watching and I'm waiting. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, but other than that, you know, there's two big events coming up. There's Pride in Las Vegas and there's Pride in Palm Springs. Mm -hmm. Rosa said she's not going to make Las Vegas, but we should be able to make Pride in, uh, in Palm Springs in November. We'll give you some more dates and specific information as we near that date so that's what i have yes um yeah and um i just want to thank everyone for the last week's uh episode where you allowed me to vent a little bit and i appreciate all your comments and all the feedback uh mm -hmm. definitely helped me um get into a better place so thank you for that mm -hmm. um okay now that announcements are over uh let's start with shout outs um first shout out today goes to loretta P, thank you for being a subscriber to Conversations with Sharon and Rosa. We mm -hmm. surely appreciate you. Then we have Zane A. Thank you also. We appreciate all that you do for our channel. Mm -hmm. And last but not least is HSR1986. <laughs> thank you. And thank you for your comments. Thank you for being a longtime subscriber. Mm -hmm. uh, we so appreciate you as mm -hmm. well. And if you're new to our channel, please like, subscribe, and share our videos. We appreciate you. And we know that you all are doing it because I can see the amount of shares. So I appreciate that you are sharing the video. Right. And those who get shared with, I want you to share too. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Keep sharing them. Right. We appreciate that. Okay. So I know you all are wondering who our guest is. Like, who today. that man? Who that man? Um, who that is? <laughs> <laughs> who that is? <laughs> what your name is? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> That's exactly. It right there. So today we're going to be talking about parents of the LBGTQ plus family. And today we have Gregory on, and he will let you know who he is, who that is. Um, and then we'll go into a little bit more about our um, title today. Yeah. So you want to just introduce yourself? Uh, yes, y'all got me all giggly over here. <laughs> uh, uh, my name is Gregory Granby, a.k.a. Kwame Nishaka, a.k.a. Asura Aryansh. And what else do you need to know? No, we'll, we'll be, no that's, that's oh, good. Okay. We'll that's get right all you back want to you. Know. Yeah, yeah. Okay. More will be revealed. <laughs> <laughs> a.k.a. More will be revealed. That's right. Um, so today we want to talk mm -hmm. a little bit about uh, some of the parents that uh, are part of our LBGTQ plus ally family. Um, mm -hmm. And so that's why we brought on uh, Gregory today. And he's going to be talking about, um, he's going to be talking a little bit about his role mm -hmm. in that and um, who he has mm -hmm. as part of the LBGTQ family. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And with that, you know, it's just important that we all know, you know, in lesbian land and far beyond, all of us are underneath the umbrella. But we're not just people. You know, we we're people with connections. We're mothers, mm -hmm. fathers, daughters and sons. We're aunties and all of that, yeah. you know, and as they say, it ain't easy being green. It ain't easy being gay. OK, Absolutely. and and it impacts all of us, not just yeah. us who are carrying the flag, but the people. What about our parents? Yeah. Everyone has a story and right. the stories is unique. You're going to hear um, <laughs> from one parent um, and his journey and, you, you know, how he has um, navigated the situation, you know, mm -hmm. and uh, and just by happenstance, uh, of course, we're friends with his daughter. But yeah. it's um, 
it's not just the person going through it, it's the people who are touched by the people who are going through it because it is a family affair. Right. So with that, I'm gonna let Greg tell you a little bit about him, not just about himself, but we got questions too. Absolutely. We got questions, you know. I want your questions. It's okay. <laughs> And before we get started, I just want to thank you for being on this show, because oftentimes when we talk about parents, a lot of people think of moms in a sense, but we just appreciate that you were willing to come on here and mm -hmm. talk about this experience um, with uh, um, your daughter who is who identifies as lesbian. I asked her, so. Because sure. <laughs> yeah. um, right, you never know. I mean, yeah. it is such a huge mm -hmm. umbrella. Yeah, yeah. Right. So, <laughs> yeah. But, uh, but I guess my first question is before she came out to you all, what was your idea of what um, the gay world looked like? Mm. And did you even, Good you know, mm -hmm. deal with people in the gay world before that? Well, uh, my experience is that all all my life I've dealt with people in the gay world, you okay. know, and and so friends you know we didn't you know it wasn't you know you didn't look at them as different right. you know what i mean right, right, it, it right. wasn't politicized right it wasn't um you know when you look at it i grew up with alvin ailey okay i grew up with uh, bad ruskin i grew up with um uh james baldwin mm -hmm. and i grew up with rock hudson Wait a minute. Uh, wait a minute. Johnny, <laughs> Johnny Mathis. Johnny, Johnny Mathis. Mathis. <laughs> yeah. and, Some of these people I know. Some yeah, I don't. Yeah, right, right, right. It's an age thing. Okay. Yeah, yeah. She, you know what I'm talking okay. about. Right. I was getting to Johnny. I was right, getting to Johnny. right, right. Johnny, because Johnny's still alive. And yeah. So, and, and he's still, still doing it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so, but, but it wasn't, you know, you'd read in Jet Magazine or Ebony Magazine, how many girlfriends does he have compared to James Brown or somebody right. like mm -hmm. that? But it wasn't a deal. It was, it was, when was his next record coming out? Right, right. It was, when was his next record coming out? So, you know, for me personally, I've always had, um, there have been aunts, cousins, gotcha. you know, don't know how many uncles, but I know aunts and cousins. <laughs> and, you know, my uncles ain't going to take too much. You know, <laughs> you know, and, and, and siblings yeah. that, that uh, have come out to me later in life, but during life, I was always wondering why is it, why are you on my case all the time? Why is it you know? And then finally, later on, it would come out because they had some they had a feeling that I didn't approve of them. Oh, gotcha. okay. And it wasn't never like that. Gotcha. You know, from from your perspective, from my perspective. Like, you didn't think you were sending it out, but that's what they thought they were receiving. Well, sometimes you get sometimes sometimes you get messages from messengers. Okay. Yeah. Right? Okay. Yes. Thinking yes. that this is how I feel. Right. Right. Um, uh, you know, I, I don't. You know, I grew up in a, an environment that was um, uh, Pentecostal. Yeah. Oh, so that Church plays of God a big in Christ. Oh. I grew up in a coach, 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 yeah. No, they, they not serious. They serve. Yeah, serious. Serious. <laughs> they serve. 29th in Susquehanna. So, Ooh, yeah. and so we grew up in a very, very tight. You, you, there was so much to do that you didn't have time to veer off or do anything else. But mm -hmm. I always tell, I always, I was telling my, my bride that. I said, I'm blessed because I've had the opportunity to go to Mother Dabney's church oh. with Mother Dabney there and her oh, husband. Wow. Right? I grew up in that, that environment. Mm -hmm. But I also got a chance to go to Love Center Church. Okay. And we went to Love Center Church with Bishop Walter Hawkins and wow. Edwin Hawkins as the choir wow. director. Wow. Yes. Yeah, those are big names. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So. I, I mean, I, I don't know how many people can say that right. and, mm -hmm. and appreciate yes. the fact that yes. they were there and mm -hmm. why they were there. Now, um, you know, if you listen to D.L. Hughley, he has this view of what, you know, choir, the, you know, what who choir directors are. But right. all I can say <laughs> yeah, is yeah. that I enjoy we drove from from San Jose to Oakland every Sunday just to just to get up in the balcony because you couldn't sit down in the front because right. everybody was standing up. Right, right, right. right, right. So we go to the balcony and pay our 
pay our offering and that was to us that's that was like concert money so we yeah just, yeah yeah we just put that money and we got so much from it but i think what i found early in life uh we started out i got married at 18. And uh, one of the reasons why I got married, we were both, we were pregnant at 17. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, I think that one of the things that, that I did very early was learn to make up my own mind about life. And right. what yeah. was, yeah. What was you were having a child coming, you gotta yeah. get yeah. some stuff in motion, yeah. you know? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Cause I was supposed to go to the Philippines and- uh, okay. and uh, So we, you were in the Navy already? Air Force. Air Force. Okay. I wasn't in it. Uh -oh. My parents were in the Air Force. Oh, okay. So it was because I was under the age of 18, I was supposed to go to the Philippines. Oh, and you had to go with them. Yes, yeah, so I was a dependent. Okay. Gotcha. I got gotcha. you. And so that I, I may had to make a decision real quick. And I said, I, I choose her <laughs> and my baby. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't going. I ain't going. I'm not going. I ain't going. <laughs> right. And so, uh, but I, you know, at a very early age, I learned to to understand that you live with your consequences of your decisions. Absolutely. Right? Yes. Well said. So you make the best decision you for you at that time. Mm -hmm. Well, and you know, I grew up in an environment where when you watched a movie, you went to watch a movie in the old movies, mm -hmm. and someone was pregnant, right? <laughs> they said, "Well, what's it going to be?" A boy or a girl, right? Right, but usually they ask the question, "Is it a boy?" Right, right. So I grew up in that environment. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. Because you know, y'all yeah. want men yeah. well, carry on the name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 You gotta be say. somebody. Yeah, right. that's what they say. Yeah. That's what they say. Well, so I got three girls. <laughs> I got three say. girls. <laughs> yeah. Each one a four year part. Leap year girls. Yeah. They're all leap years. Yeah. Right? <laughs> And it was, I think it was the, I think it was the third one. And I said, look, I'm just going to raise these like I would raise boys. Yeah. Okay. I ain't no different. Mm -hmm. I'm going to say, so we're going to play basketball. We're going to, we're going, we're going to go and hang out. We're going to do everything that I would do with a son. Did right. you know at that age, I mean, did you know that men determine which, which sex the child's going to be? Uh, did, did you know it's on you? I didn't know that. <laughs> We're talking about 1968. Right, right. right. I mean, so, but you was a pretty happening kind yeah, of guy. Yeah. Yeah. But this said, is, I'm having girls because you making girls. This is. <laughs> this, <laughs> I'm just saying. This is a, Now, I got friends that have all girls, too. And I, I tell them, I said, man, you know, this is all about you, don't you? <laughs> this, is, this is God's way of teaching you that, with, that you ain't. I can't say too many words on a. Like you say, say what you want. Oh. What you want. It's our platform. I, yeah, I said, I said, I said, this is God's, this is God's, uh, God's way of teaching you that uh, you've been out there, you've been hoeing. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> this is, this is your way. This is God's way of straightening you out. Oh, right, right. You're bringing you towards some sort of center because you was, you was off the chain too much a little bit. Right. So I guess it was part of me too. Yeah. So I, I accept it. I plead guilty. <laughs> and everything that I everything that I thought did or whatever I tried to share with my daughter so that they oh, okay. they would understand okay. where it's coming from. Hopefully. Yeah. And they benefited from that too. I hope you know, so. That, yeah. I hope yeah. so. Yeah. I mm -hmm. hope so. You it know. seems like, you know, from the outside looking in that they have. They you know, I, I met two of them and I know they're exceptional mm. uh young women, so yeah, that, yeah, I hope so. so. I, I'm that. thank I thank God for them. If you know, it's it's uh, and then I also, it's also I said, man, boy, if I had all guys, right? Ooh. I wouldn't see <laughs> I wouldn't see none of them. Right, right. right. <laughs> they, would, they wouldn't they wouldn't wish me a happy birthday and, and like, make you king of the castle because yeah, you are because with be, that much female energy around you, yeah. Yeah. you know what I mean? Who do we love, yeah. Daddy? And yeah, we probably exactly. be taking care of their children. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> it does so, make a difference. It makes well, a difference. Yeah, it really does. Yeah, Absolutely. I'm thankful. I'm thankful. Uh, I am truly okay. thankful. So, out of the the three young ladies that you have, one of your daughters did come out to you. Mm -hmm. Um, so uh, walk us through what that was like. It was. Uh, I'm trying to think back. 
Yeah, I know it probably was a while ago. It, it was <laughs> yeah. a while. It was a while ago. But I'm trying to think of of what I felt. You know. Yeah. yeah. Because at some point you say, okay, you, it's your life. You know. You know. Right. Like I said, for me, it was I made a decision. I you learn to live with it. Yeah. And you work yeah. with it. And at this time, she had already been married to a man. She had already was been married to a man. She had already been married and to a mother. And a mother. Right. And okay. So, well, that's okay. me too, and that's my story. Too. Yeah. My dad was like, "I need a minute. I, I got to get past this." So you know, we went through that. Now he's on the other side of acceptance. But you know, I, yeah. sometimes it just catches you off yeah. guard, and and that's why I'm just yeah. trying to figure out where you were. Yeah, yeah. I, I I didn't. I, I don't know. I I I don't. I didn't react negatively at all. It, it was her life. Yeah, good. I knew that the relationship that she had was uh, she wasn't happy with. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And my only concern was who was she going to be happy with? Right. Wow. Right. Yeah. You know, it's not him. Who? It, it, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. and and you know, if it's another woman, it's it's okay with me as long as that other woman loves her. Right. You see, my only concern for, for my daughters is that they live a happy, loved life. Yeah. And if they can get that, we try to give that to them at, at the house. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. So and give them as much space as they could so they can they can understand how to be them. Mm -hmm. Right. But if on the outside, you know, you're going to make some decisions and some of those decisions may not be what you want them to be right right you know but if you can find happiness in this life right i ain't standing in your way i exactly. I, ain't, I don't care what it is i ain't standing in your way so you just find happiness just make sure you got the right one exactly because i don't want to be fighting nobody well i commend <laughs> you for even um thinking like that because i don't think either set of my parents uh thought like that to for me to be happy you know Similar to your daughter, I was married to a man. I had two children mm. from that out of that marriage, and they just couldn't understand. Now, why would you want to be with a woman? Like, who does that? You know what I'm saying? Like, so yeah. it wasn't about my happiness for them. Mm -hmm. I think now it is, but mm -hmm. at that time, everybody just kind of shunned me and was like, oh. And just like you were mm -hmm. saying, I grew up Kojic as well. And, you know, you know, it's some people in that church that you know that you know, but they ain't saying nothing and nobody, you know, it's, it's, it's one of those things yeah. where they say it's not spoken. Right. Mm -hmm. It's known, but not discussed. Not, right. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah. And it's like, and, you know, that, sure. you know, like our choir director, right. Right. We knew. You know, yeah. uh, right. Be, but at the same time, it's like, that's the same people that shun you. Like, wait a minute, what you mean? Rosa yeah. is gay and she needs to. Yeah. No, yeah. we know y'all are too. But That's we right. ain't going there. That's so right. That's right. that was big for me. My church uh, pretty much said no. And, you know, my parents pretty much say no. For, so for you to even come and have that, that that genuine love for your child to say, hey, I understand. She's not happy anyway. So yeah. whoever you're, you're yeah. with, yeah. Yeah. be happy, yeah. you know? Love, love is love. I, I, you, you know, it's... Um, I've been in... I got a cousin and we're getting ready to go... Uh, back east and to a wedding, okay. couple of weddings, and mm -hmm. one of the cousins that uh, we've been having these conversations, and and it's all about what is love. A lot of it is what is love. Love is love. I mean, I can't, I can't. If I, if I'm a lover, mm -hmm. right? If I love people, I, you know, I don't distinguish between you or you or mm -hmm. I love. Mm -hmm. Right, right. Mm -hmm. I love because the essential part of me says to love one another. Absolutely. Yes. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Right. So if if, yeah. if I was paying attention in church, <laughs> right. right. If I was really paying attention, what did they tell me to do? To love, love one another. another. Yep. Thank you. So as you would love yourself. Yeah. And as you would love yourself. So why would I do any different with my daughter? Yeah. Okay. Well, I have a follow on question um, to the original mm -hmm. one was like, you know, you, you shared with us how, you know, you were thinking how you processed it. Right. But of course, as a family, and as a whole family. That was your reaction. Mm -hmm. How did your spouse, how did she react to your first daughter coming out gay? I think, you know, we, we've been a team for, let's see. So she came out gay. I think we have been married for about 30 years or something like that. Mm -hmm. 
Mm-hmm. Probably somewhere around here. So we had worked out our our team regimen. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> and I I think for I the most that. part we had been together on most of the things that were important is, in yeah, our yeah, lives. Yeah, right. you mm-hmm. know. But this uh, is different. That that was slightly different. Like I said, we've got family members. Yeah, right, you know, right, right, family right. members that we love. And, yeah, but and not your children. It's not a whole the children. It's no more than if someone would say, "Well, you know, I know he does a little drug right. and she does smoke yeah, a little thing." Yeah. But it's a different when your yeah. daughter says, "We know I'm hooked on meth." Yeah, yeah. it's a yeah. whole, it's big, whole different, big difference. It, it is. So I mean, yeah. not to minimize it, but I mean, right, but right. it's different. This right. is your child. Right. right. Your child, it's the, a different closeness. The biggest concern, uh, and and I think I, I can't speak for her, but I think the biggest concern that we had was that she was going to be happy, and that she wasn't in a situation that was going to bring her down again. Right, right, right. That wasn't going to take her okay. to some place that someone respected her, honored her, yeah. uh, gave her. You know what I mean? Yes, yeah. yes. And I yes. think I think for 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 both of us, because you know we both came from. You know, I came from Phil. I was born in Philadelphia and raised, but she yeah, was raised her whole life in Omaha, Nebraska. Oh, okay. So there's a different yeah. view of the world. Yeah, yeah. Out there. That's a whole different <laughs> culture. <laughs> it's a different culture. So yeah. When I brought her back to Philadelphia, when Dawn, because that's how Dawn was born in Philadelphia. We got married in Omaha, went to Philadelphia to live with family, and she she was it was a culture shock. For her. Right. I'm sure. Oh, it, it was uh, for me. Yeah. culture side. As many people on one block as it is in, in the, the whole, whole town. section of area. <laughs> <laughs> Where do you sleep at? In the building. <laughs> uh, I tell you, cats in the backyard, alleys, yeah. and it stunk all to be down. And the and, noise, the and flavors. And you had to get used that. to you had to get used to constant activity. In constant. Your house. Yeah, and the city does not sleep. It doesn't sleep. Right. So right. so that was that was part of it. But you know, it's it's I, I think I think if I can, you know, uh with her nod, I, I think it would be that she accepted it as well. Okay. You know, okay. because like I said, we 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 both have family members that are that are gay, or that was today. We, you know, because back in the day, it was gay Perry. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody wanted to go to Cape Cape Perry. Yeah. <laughs> Just for the fun part. You see like, what I'm hey, saying? They but fun. no one, no one associated that word. Right. With, yeah, with yes. LGBTQ. Right. Yeah. Right. At right. the time, and so it was. Mm-hmm. If you were gay, you were happy. If you listen to some of the old Smokey songs, mm-hmm. you you know we were we were young and gay. Yeah. We were, you know, so we, there was no. I think it was wasn't a stigma. Yeah. It was, it was, it was attached now, to it. there was there was this where they said, well, how are they going to have kids? Yeah. But what is what is this? How are they going to do this? How are they going to do that? And that's because of lack of knowledge, not lack of really understanding mm-hmm. uh, what what things are and listening to that person and what their life is going to be like. Oh, yeah. Right. Yeah. They can still have kids. Exactly. You know, they can they can get and do whatever they want to do. The question is the relationship. If oh, you, absolutely. If you're yes. going through this world, this earth is tough enough. But if you're going through this world and you're you're unhappy, you are unsatisfied, you are not fully realized in your life, then it, it ain't going to come out right. Right. Yeah, just life, life is hard it. enough as it it's is. It's hard yeah, enough yeah, as it yeah, is. It's not easy Absolutely. being. Yeah, well, I'm great. not the one. I, you know, I'm not the one. Are you, are you happy? <laughs> yeah, I'm with you. Well, it's something that you said about ten minutes ago about you know, like it was. Um, you know, we didn't just uh, fly. You know, come from a different planet. We've mm-hmm. been here all the time. That's right. You know, but even if it wasn't discussed, uh, I remember as a child across the street, it was this nice woman mm-hmm. and and her husband her partner mm-hmm. was a woman but she dressed very male mm. i mean she wore a process yeah and she wore sharp skin uh-huh. suits okay i mm-hmm. mean she was kind of like mom's baby uh, uh, yeah yeah yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah exactly <laughs> mom's baby yeah you know and it, it, what i as i would you know spin back the tapes it was no big deal we no. just knew that she had real smooth skin to be yeah. a man 
Oh, right. oh, okay, yeah. but the, but truly, not a very close haircut. Not just that; it was a process, was a process. like the men was wearing. I'm telling you. you know what I mean? She's and, to catch. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. And we just knew could I go over and you know go to the store, go to the store, and give me a pack of cigarettes? Yeah. I most certainly would. Yeah. You know, so it's interesting how it was. It was just part of the blend. You know, we knew who the pimps were. We knew who the people were doing exactly. drugs. We knew the ones. You, you know, we surely knew the one who was gay. But like you said, we didn't talk about it. But then. Yeah. Our neighbor, her son was trying very hard to come out. And at that time, you didn't mm. have to be the, I don't want to say extreme, but everything is kind of full throttle now. Right. So all he would do was like put on his mother's bathrobe and put on her wig right. and walk up and down the street. And that was enough to get you beat down. Yeah. By the right. Fellas, right? That was just <laughs> enough right now, yeah. you know, yeah. in Philadelphia, yeah. in right. North Philadelphia in 1962. That's true. You what? And, and, you, and you proud of it? So... When I look at all how things have fast forward, forwarded, and not only that, it seems like everything has gotten so much more serious. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, because even with them making quote unquote fun of him, mm -hmm. no one was trying to kill him. Where now right. people who are transgender are, you know, it, it's almost every day you hear about someone uh, being murdered. Right? Yeah. Just because. Yeah. Not just gay, not just, you know, uh, yeah. butch or femme yeah. or something, but transgender. It's like someone has, oh, there's a certain, a different kind of hate we can put on that. Right. And hate to the point that, you, you know, they're, they're willing to kill you. really are just looking for something to, to hate, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. because it's, a, Haters. you know, right. And it's mm -hmm. needless stuff. Like, yeah. let them live their lives. You yeah. Know what I mean? So, yeah. like uh, Greg was saying earlier, he just, you know, wants his daughter to be happy. Just let them be happy, you know? And do what they gotta do. Exactly. And my happy, but, my happy might not look like you're happy. That's yeah. right. Right. That's and, right. And, and be that's okay right. with that. That's you right. Know what I mean? So um, I still wanna, uh, I wanna go back to you know the support and everything. Mm -hmm. I, I, I envy. <laughs> I would say I would envy someone like your daughter, because she has parents like you. Right. Uh, it was not easy for me, mm -hmm. and my mother did everything in, in her willpower, just like literally say i'd rather see you be a whore on the street than a dyke what? and and you know when that's coming from your mother yeah. you yeah. gotta look at your options and like, <laughs> oh. like maybe i'm gonna go on maybe yeah exactly maybe at least i'll be okay I might be a hoe, but I'm accepted. Yeah. yeah. My so, mama okay with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Who That's, says that? Right. right? Yeah. Who says right, that? Right. But then again, um, <laughs> you know, quiet as it's kept, it was just I really realized my mother had some issues with it. Yeah. And you know, because sometimes you know people see what they think, mm -hmm. right? So maybe you know it was like, oh my god. My daughter might be this way. And, mm -hmm. you know, I, I put a couple of things together because, you know, I was always smart for my size. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I was always smart. So I was looking how things came together. And, and yet and still, my mother knew gay people, had them as part of, you know, her crew and, and mm -hmm. party with them and mm -hmm. all of that. And they can come in and buy the, you know, bootleg mm -hmm. liquor. Mm -hmm. But God forbid my child be one. Right. Or a rumor that maybe you have been. You, you, okay. Yeah. Go ahead. Well, you you know uh, what you're saying, which both of you are saying, it, it comes down for me, for me, to a very, very key point is education, not the education that you get in school, right. like ABCs. I'm talking education about life, about what is a person that who is that person who is homosexual? Yeah. What is it that they do that's different from what you do? Mm -hmm. Right. What is it? How many? How many of our leaders in in this country had been homosexual? Right, right, right. And right. still did their job, still did what they had to do, right. still did still Didn't get in the way. Still right. still achieved, still Greatness. came. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. And it 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 I think for me it comes down to what they didn't have, including in my family. Uh, you know, I I've I've got a I got a father that was that was kind of, he would never say, he wouldn't even say the word. Right, right, he right, would say, right. He would say, you'll see. <laughs> <laughs> you'll see. I said, what are you talking about? You'll see. What are you talking about? Are you, are you good, ready for it? Are you, are you, you, you prepared for it? Prepare for what? Right? You'll and see. so he would go and, and do things like that, but right. never would come out and say, uh, right? 
And so I think a lot of the, the problems that we had in the past and now is that people are afraid to sit down and talk about what they are afraid of. Yeah. And oh, why. absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. And that goes yeah. back to what I think you said earlier, that you knew earlier in life, you had to make some decisions. You had yeah. to, you know, be aware. And the fact that you being aware and maybe Sharon's mom's not of who you are right. at that time, right. you can make those decisions and, and right. you know, and be okay with that. Right. Right. Yeah. You know? right. That's true. Yeah. yeah. And, and you, and, and the other thing that, that I was blessed, um, really blessed to have was, the concept of responsibility yeah. because if 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 i'm if i say something to you i'm responsible for what i say to yes. you yes. or you right. right right i'm responsible for my feelings towards you or you right, right. Mm -hmm. and so i'm you know like i said growing up c-o-g-i-c <laughs> yeah. right it's got it i has. paid attention I yep. paid attention. I, I, you know, I, it was like, okay, I ain't, I ain't going for the facade. What is the essence of what they're trying to tell me in this right. world? Mm -hmm. right. So I, I looked at it and I said, okay, I can't, I have to be responsible for me. And so if I, if I'm, I know that there is a part of me that is a messenger. So if I give the wrong message to someone, then I can hurt them. Absolutely. Oh, yeah, and so that message is that you're bad because you chose you to different. love yeah. someone, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know, and I, and I don't, I don't even, I look at it from that standpoint of love. Mm -hmm. You know, if you love someone, does it matter? Right. Right. Does it really matter? Yeah. You know, now that doesn't mean that you, you're going to try to make babies because right. that might not work. Right. <laughs> right. Right. There's but, some disappointment in that. But yeah. you can get you can get children mm -hmm. that may have been, you know, rejected because of whatever, right. you know. So if you can still have goal. a family, yes, yes, right? Yes. So okay. if that's your goal, but I mean, so for parents to say, oh yeah, I first of all, it's parents if they haven't told their children what they needed to tell them by fifteen, forget it. Yeah. Forget yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. It's left up yeah, to the world. True. It's you're right. left you're right. up. That's yeah, it's chances left. are, yeah. But I think your decision on um, your stance on, you know, your daughter coming out, mm -hmm. being that you were understanding of that, I think that plays a big part in your relationship with her today. Because you all have a great relationship. You yeah. know, there's parents that don't even talk to their kids because of that, mm -hmm. or, right? Or you know, their kids feel a certain kind of way around them so they don't come around you yes, know yeah and i think more or less they're friends yeah right, more right, or less, right, yeah right, right. so mm -hmm. i think that's a good thing because you know a lot of people in our shoes mm -hmm. want to have those relationships with mm -hmm. our parents and some of them can't right some right. of them just, just can't, can't. Right. just can't no. because of as you said earlier maybe the parents street education or just right. that that inner part of being okay with somebody else's decisions Right. You know, yeah. not their own. Right. Every right. parent has a vision for their children. A every parent. Yes. And sure. yeah. when it doesn't, you know, when it gets blurred and you trying to bear off another way and Doesn't your child fit. is like, I'm gay, that's a whole, like, right, hurt. right. That wasn't in my vision. Yeah. Right. You know? So yeah. I can understand fit. that. Yeah. yeah I, 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 can, I can get it. And, 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 you know, part of it, now you, you mentioned that I, un I didn't understand. Oh, okay. I, I didn't okay. understand. Okay. I'm, but I was willing to learn. Wow. See, that wow. was the key. Like I'm that, willing yeah. to learn. So I didn't quite understand what, you know, because she had been out in the, in the military and yeah. away from me and, and yeah, all, right. the, you went know, the, the family. World. Went yeah. to the world. So, so I didn't, yeah. I didn't know all of the steps that got her to that point. Right. But it, if she got there, I was comfortable that she was making a decision that was in her best interest. Okay. You. you see what I'm saying? Yeah, well, because yeah. that's how we raised her. It's like, wow. it's like, look, You've got, we're going to give you enough space uh, so that if you have an issue, right, feel free to talk it, talk it over with anybody you need to talk it over with, mm -hmm. right? But if, and you know, final, you know, if we can help you, we will help you, your sisters, you know, whatever. Yeah, gotcha. So we can do it that way. But I didn't, you know, I'm still learning. You know, oh, uh, aren't we all? We, 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 yeah, learning. yeah, yeah. You know, absolutely. I'm still learning because I mean, even when you, you, you no matter when you came in on the scene, mm -hmm. things still rapidly changing. Mm -hmm. Like uh, my, my, I have a, a good buddy of mine. Uh, we've been friends since high school. Mm -hmm. uh, she said, Sharon, 
I got a niece and she, you know, she got a lovely figure. She's a pretty girl. Yeah. Pretty girl. I don't mean no weave. That's her hair. Pretty ah. girl. Nice figure. And she's always, you know, got the makeup and da -da -da -da. She said, well, the other day she came in here dressed like a man uh -oh. and penciled some something around her, <laughs> her lips. She said, Jesus, take me away. She said, I don't understand it. Yeah. Then she told me she was pansexual. Sharon, help me. What is that? Yeah. What is that? Yeah. So I'm saying things are, there are things that's changing so rapidly yeah. Yeah. Um, as, as people self-identify. Yeah. And I said, look, I say, sweetie, it used to be so much easier yeah. in my day. Like, right. you like girls, I do too. And we can go on for the rest of our life and never right. have the conversation again. Right. Now, we got to specialize yeah. and you, you you know things yeah. have changed and so she she just wants to be there for her niece yeah but mm -hmm. she was just saying i have no idea who she is yeah. because i she used to be the cutie on duty mm -hmm. and now she's like a man named sam but at least she <laughs> wants to learn it like yeah you're saying, understand yeah. it you know, yeah. she's talking to people who's in the light. That's true. Right. Like, let me call Sharon. Yeah. Right, right. She can give me some. And she might help. have other people. Right, in the that's light. right. Yeah. That's so right. we walked it through it. And yeah. I mean, some things I'm yeah. still learning, but yeah. they, the scenery has changed. That's right. all I'm saying. It's right. just not, you know, <laughs> it, it's, it's not just a guy coming down the street with a wig on. And it's yeah. and it's a lot more visible to everybody. You know, Ooh. it's like, it's, it's like in uh, your face. Uh, yes. uh, Marlena true. Dietrich. Yeah, yeah, right. definitely. Yeah, Marlena Dietrich, Tallulah Bankhead, uh, Marilyn Monroe, yeah, Marilyn Monroe. I mean, you could Marlon you could, Brando, Marlon Brando. I mean, you can, yeah. you can, you can just count them off. And how many people knew at that time? Some yeah. knew. Right, yeah, right, you know right. they had to know. Look, Rock Hudson, Rock Hudson, and the extent, the extent to which they went to to hide it. The, to deny it, mm -hmm. to say it's simply not so, because that is your livelihood. Well, they they would they had to deal with some folks that 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 didn't believe in that, so they right. wanted them to continue to come to the movie. Well, right. well, 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 oh, oh, absolutely. You but know. but it was one point I want to get back to it before it escapes me. But it was a point when you were saying, um, like, with your father, you mm -hmm. know, when he was talking, you was like, "Hey, you'll see, you'll see." Mm -hmm. Couldn't even say the word. No, didn't even want to utter the concept. But look at who raised him, and look at the time mm -hmm. in which they were raised. Yeah. So yeah. when I think of my mother's mother, more mm -hmm. or less my mother's mm -hmm. father, yes, right, who was a Southern Baptist minister, yeah. you know, well, uh, you know, you know, yeah. I can only imagine. The, the horrible pictures they painted for any and all. Yeah. Right. So yeah. Like, I don't know what you're going to be, but you better not be that. Yeah. Right. Under, like, like fake your death. <laughs> Just, you, you know what I mean? Do whatever, but yeah. don't come in here telling me you like women. Yeah. You know? Right. And, you know, so yeah. I, I try not to be too hard on them because, it, as I tell Rose, I said, it was a different time, sweetie. Yeah, oh, It definitely. was a different time. It was a different time. And one of the a... greatest fears I had in my career, mm -hmm. um, and I've worked for 44 years, but the, the 22 years in the Navy, mm -hmm. I was all every day. It was never away from my psyche that some young lady can come in here and said, you know, the chief made an inappropriate remark to me mm. or she looked at me mm. or she gave me an extra donut. Sweetie, I'm on a diet. That's <laughs> why I gave donut. you the extra donut. You know, but but right. <laughs> I'll take that extra donut. You know, you know but you just, you know, and <laughs> throw it away and offer but, somebody. Right. Just, you but don't just want. the implication. Oh, and boy. then if my career isn't ruined, I have to go and yeah. say and deny yeah. everything. Not yeah. only deny it, but prove to them that that was a lie. Right. So right. I didn't get over those feelings even on the way out the door. That's even right. on the day I retired and they gave me my DD-214. And I ran down to the uh, human resources, like, like get it in, yeah. do the tamp, yeah. time stamp. Yeah. Yeah. I yeah. did it. Yeah. I'm yeah. out. When's oh. my check? When's right. my first check? Right. Right. You know, so it was a difficult time. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. And now that things have flip-flopped, it's a difficult time for new reasons. It's yes. like someone has given carte blanche mm -hmm. to hatred. Yes. You know, yeah. male yeah. or female. Male or female. You, you know, trans, yeah. Yeah. anything, you, you know, polyamorous. I don't care who you are, yeah. what you're doing. Yeah. If you in Hillcrest, yeah. you could very well be a target of hatred. Yeah. Yeah. They were, and who lives in Hillcrest? We do. Yeah. Right. right. And that's where we go and the good that's restaurants right. and the fun and the pride and all that's of that. Right. But there are people who like, hey, where do the where do the gays go? Take me there. Yeah. Uh, not to come to the club. They come in to hurt us. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I still can't. That, I don't. I can't get my head wrapped. Yeah. Around hate. That. Hate is hate. Hate really has no bounds. And it and it's there are those people in this world that just get up in the morning to hate. Absolutely. And and that's and a, a, 
uh, and I go back and I say, a lot of those people that get up in the morning just to hate is because they don't know anything else. Right. Yeah. They don't know. And so the more we can do to kind of figure out how to teach people about what is in life. You know, what are these people over here about? Yes. Yes. What are, you know, and then and then figure out and then and then teach. I think I think the biggest it, it sounds probably too simple, you know, simplified, but uh, you know, in my day, you know, I, I, I came up in the peace love. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, right, right. If it soul. feels good, do it. Right, right. Loving on everybody. Right, right. It, it, you know, love the sixties. That's right. And, you know, free love and hey, look, folks figured it out. They said they knew it back then, and they said, "Look, let's just love everybody." Hey, yeah. you want something? You want you want some place to stay? I got some place for right. you. Yeah. Hey, you want some food? I got some right, food for right, you. Right, right, right. And you know that was the generation that that we evolved to mm -hmm, in the sixties, mm -hmm, right? Mm -hmm. And it was totally opposite to of what, you, what yeah. was going on in yes. the forties and the fifties. Absolutely, right. totally opposite. Right. And so that started then, and then something happened, right? And then all of a sudden, it's, it's kind of going back the other way. Things tend to go in the circle. Yeah, the then they go back, yeah. Since then, tend to revolve. But, but what do you think happened? What was the it? What, what is the it? What was the it? I think the it was money. Money? Mm. Money. Okay. Money. People will use... Uh, the only reason why Marlon Brando, Kirk, du uh, not Kirk Douglas, but uh, Rock Hudson and the rest of them. Montgomery Cl Cliff. Montgomery oh. Cliff. That oh, was yeah. Yeah. yeah, Montgomery Cliff. And even James Dean. Yeah, James I, I know my Dean. People. You know him. I you know, know my people. people. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? No. Barbara I mean, some, Stanwyck. Some of the, some of the, <laughs> Barbara Stanwyck. That's right. Some of the biggest names in yes. Hollywood could not, to Cary Grant. Oh yeah. Couldn't come out. Yes. Couldn't come out like that. Even though there were pictures of him right. and, and Randolph you know, Scott. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Who lived together eleven yeah. years. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But no one really said anything because they were making money. Right. Yeah. Yeah. They right. were making money and they want to continue to make that money. And I think Absolutely. I think that is if uh the bottom line in this country is money. Mm -hmm. So if you if you can find a way to if find a way to for everyone to make money that's that's gay or LGBTQ, mm -hmm. I tell you that all the hate will go away. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> got all got to do is get everybody. Right. Right. Yeah, yeah, I like, that. Back to I like that perspective. Okay, yeah. you know, uh, and I I think because but you, there's always someone that says I don't like you because yeah. you're not doing what I do. Right, right. and what I do is right. So right, you or gotta be wrong. you're doing better than me. Mm. Right. Or right. you're doing better than me. And I think that's probably part of the biggest piece of it. Yeah. Is that wow. you're that's happy. Good. Yeah. You're happy. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of folks that are, that are LGBTQ are happy. And those that were afraid to make the choice to be happy are now haters. Yes. I agree. Uh, you know, I, I just kind of kind of my perspective on things. Oh, okay. People tend to I hate things that. that they mm -hmm. don't. Mm -hmm. know or oh, understand. understand yeah that's exactly you know. where it's coming from and so uh, you know i've known people that are you happy well i hate you <laughs> you know yeah, because they're right, not right, happy. right 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 yeah because they're not happy right you know right. and they don't know how to be happy right and so and, and so that's for 40 years so yeah. we it's a challenge it's 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 a challenge it's a world challenge it's it's something that we have to deal with every day and now how do you fix it i, I think it's fix with each individual mm. and and, mm -hmm. and 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 setting a goal to be happy setting a goal to have a peaceful country setting yeah. a goal to have a peaceful world and unless those are our goals then and we have steps to get us there we, we're yeah, in yeah. trouble yeah yeah we are. We, we are absolutely and though you i mean not to oversimplify it but uh i am happy and uh, but there's a cost of it, you know what I mean? And as happy as yeah. you are, we are, could be, yeah. there's people over there, like you said, on the other side of the room yeah. that I'm hating you because you are happy. Yeah. You know, yeah. Yeah. how dare you? Yeah. Or 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 because you, I got to share. I don't want to share with you. Yeah, exactly. Right. Absolutely. So but if you share, then you're happy. I can be happy. Right. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because you're going to share with me. Right. It's Chinese right. restaurant, double happiness. 
<laughs> it's amazing when you go and the rest of the, 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 how many times you see happiness on the, on the yeah, 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 you know, yeah. And, and that's so that's that's so true. So we just have well, to do. Uh, I mean, I know you. We're looking at the time as well because we've already invited him back for for part two. But uh, if they're to. not that we, we're not not trying to put you on the spot, but we are. Um, but you know, <laughs> to the other gay parents out there who may really be like really wrestling this bear call called my child is gay and or my grandchild is or whatever. Do you have any advice or any or thing that something that worked for you that might work for others? Yeah out there and we, again we're talking to lesbian land and yeah. far beyond yeah, all absolutely. the people under the umbrella you know what could you do because you're a parent and right. you're, you're a grandparent and you've seen a lot and you i'm an old lot. man i'm old man. <laughs> you know experience season <laughs> well, <define. Seasoned. laughs> oh, no. well i think the thing uh the first word that came into my mind absolutely the first word was to relax was what? Relax. To relax. Relax. I yeah. like. Relax. Okay. <laughs> you know, it, it's it's. Like they're still alive. Right. Right. They're still alive. In their mind, they're looking for happiness. Right. I mean, all parents that want happiness for their children, absolutely, and they want their children to be alive, and they want their children to realize who they are. You know, I I just relax with it. Yeah. Relax and 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 educate yourself. You know, sit down mm -hmm. and talk with them and find mm -hmm. out why they're doing what they're doing. Because mm -hmm. a lot of what they're doing probably has nothing to do with specific sexuality. It has everything to do with being whole as a person. Mm -hmm. So, wow. I, you know, and I think that's that's what most people are looking for. They're just looking for someone that they can they can they can be comfortable with right. throughout yes. the day. Yes. They can be comfortable in a, in a bedroom with. Mm -hmm. You know, everybody can't say that. Even a lot of folks that are married can't say that they oh, feel comfortable yeah, with a person right. that's in the bed with them. Right. So they someone that truly, truly, truly loves and cares for them. And I think that's the big thing. If they can find that, I don't care if it's Nina Simone. <laughs> <laughs> Some people, let me tell you this real quick before we go. We live in a, a senior community. And the majority of the the people in that senior community have dogs. Mm -hmm. They have a little pet. Sure. Why sure. do they have the little pet? Yeah, company. It's company. Yeah, company. Yeah. Some it's companionship. Someone to love. It's companionship. Yeah. Someone to love. Yeah. It's it's someone love. Who needs them. It's reciprocal yeah. love because animals can love too. Yeah. Unconditionally. It's yeah. unconditionally. Yeah. Yes. So why would that? Why would it be? Why would I go and get a dog when I can get a person? Right. Yeah. I can call a person a dog, but anyway, that's something. <laughs> no, 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 different show, a different show. Okay. <laughs> and with that, so back yes, to you. Absolutely, we definitely want to thank you so much, Greg, for just coming today, uh, my sharing your wisdom with us, and um, leaving us in a better spot. Um, absolutely, you know, better understanding too. I we thank so. you so much, and we definitely love to do a part two to this. Because the at conversation your, your is really not finished, but we got to go. You know? All right, gotcha. So hopefully uh, we can um, hook back up sure. and uh, do a part two. I, yeah. I definitely will. And on that. a personal note to conversations with Sharon and Rosa, we have to give you your props. And you've been so supportive of us when oh, we, when we were yes. um, just getting together episode one. And here we are, 160 like that. Uh, yeah, videos yeah, later. Yeah. And... You know, yeah. look You're at look one at of us. our biggest fans, and we, right, we appreciate right, you. Right, right, right. We appreciate, yeah, yeah. yeah. And you and your lovely wife. She's here, but not on the camera. Nah. Yeah. I just want to give her a shout out as well. <laughs> thank you. But we thank you both for being <laughs> here. Yeah, and uh, thank you for your support. You guys. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, okay. so until next time, we're always wishing you the very best of all good things. Stay safe and stay woke and relax. <laughs> yes. <laughs>